Determine the number of significant figures in measurement. All right, so first let's talk about, well, what this means. So when we are measuring things, measurements in itself, um, they're full of uncertainty, right? Because measuring is only as precise as the tool that you're using. So are you using a yardstick or a, um, a ruler, or maybe you're using some other tool that measures. So tools can be off. Um, we might be looking at it from different vantage points. So our measurement might be off just a little bit, but there's this bit of uncertainty. So significant figures are all of the digits in the measurement, including the uncertain last digit. Now, what we mean by that is if I tell you that something weighs 3.18 grams, that means that really this eight is a little bit uncertain. It means this thing is really somewhere between 3.17 and 3.19 because that last digit is just a little bit you know, uncertain. Or if we say 3.183, let's take it to the thousandths place, that means we're a little bit between 3.182 and 3.184, right? Again, paying attention to that last digit. So significant figures are dealing with digits in measurement that help us deal with the uncertainty of measurement. Now, what are significant figures? Like, are all numbers significant? And the answer to that is, no. So all non-zero numbers, right? So one through nine. Anytime you see one through nine, those are going to be significant and what we call captive zeros. So if I would have like 204, this is a captive zero because it is between two non-zero numbers. So therefore, this is a significant figure. What is not a significant figure is a trailing zero. So if I would have like 400. These are considered trailing zeros. They're at the end. They are not significant. Four is the only significant figure in this number. Leading zeros. So if I would have a number like this, the only two numbers that are significant are the four and the three. These are all leading zeros. Therefore, they are not significant. Okay, so let's just do some examples of how many significant figures are in each number below. Now, in letter A, you will see we have these non-zero numbers, all significant, and this zero here is captive, right? It is between two non-zero numbers, so all four of these are significant. So I have four significant figures in letter A. In letter B, these zeros are leading zeros, so they are not significant, so I only have four non-zero numbers, and so I have four significant figures. In letter C, I have two non-zero numbers and a trailing zero, not significant, so I have two significant figures. In letter D, I have three trailing zeros, so again, two significant figures. And then in three, I have two non-zero numbers and a captive zero, Ooh. so three significant figures. So it's really paying attention to the zeros, where they fall, um, and making sure you count it from there. Thanks.